You illegally emigrated to Havana, Cuba. <gasps> Where is Ira? <gasps> Hello my little peaches and welcome back to another episode of the chaotic life of none other than Maria Manin who looks so okay now I was gonna say looks so peaceful right now having a sleep but nope is doing some kind of weird nap pose on the bed because I've got a pose pack installed for naps but yeah the chaotic life of Maria and of course the chaos of my bit life controls my sim series this is the season where we've just gone full criminal which is exciting and fun and I'm enjoying it however things have definitely started to go very very wrong for our little lives with of course Joni here who some of you guys do uh, suspect could be an inside mom and then also our son Eero as Eero, Eero as well. So in the last episode our brother died, very sad. We did get a first edition shiny Charizard Pokemon card from a random nerd's house which is worth 175,000. Well, I yeah. want it! Uh, <laughs> I thought you might hear that. How is crazy it real? is that? Look how much it was worth. Random nerd, it's me. <laughs> That's so funny. And then I decided to start trying to kill off as many family members, um, not my family, as many of the mafia as I possibly could. So I was trying to kill like a bunch of people directly above me to see if I could get promoted because I've been with the mafia for a while. I do have a bunch of cash, like it's been very profitable, but I've never actually been promoted, which is super, super annoying. So I thought if I killed everyone in the mafia, maybe they'd have to promote me because nobody's there doing my job above me. However, uh, things did not go according to plan and I keep not getting a promotion. I'm also a bit worried now that I've killed a bunch of them that they might try and kill me. And then I tried to rob a bank, actually got captured, escaped prison again. I should have been there for 16 years. Now I'm on the run. So you guys had some suggestions in the last episode for things I could do to try and make sure I escape prison. Number one was in BitLife, I should get some, I've already changed my hair and stuff, but you guys were suggesting that I get plastic surgery, which I think could be a good job because it's definitely going to make me look a little bit different so I'm gonna get a nose job the nose job was successful. The results are good. Here is my current nose. So I'm just gonna like select one of the pre-select noses as my like nose job nose. Okay, there we go. So my nose is a little bit smaller. I'm also gonna go for a facelift. I'm generally not that old. Yeah, she's only 28, but I'm just trying to change my appearance so I can try and evade the police. So I think for facelift, I will just change my skin details. And that will be how we do that one. So instead of this, I will go for this one. So there we go, a bit of a change. And then I guess I'll change my eyes too. Okay, it wasn't hugely successful, but hopefully it's gonna be enough just to change our appearance enough that we can stay on the run. Okay, that's quite different. <laughs> okay, well, I do look, I don't know. Her appearance is freaking me out because it's so different to before. So I've switched up my hair a little bit as well. I'm just trying to look as different as I possibly can. And then you guys also suggested changing my name. Mm, what should we go for? Joking N, yes, jokes, jokes. Emmy jokes. I'm gonna change my name to Emmy jokes. Oh, your mother is arguing with you because you changed your name. Well, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, but I need to be on the run. I also don't have the same surname as like my husband and child anymore, but it's the only thing I can do. So there we go. And then finally, you guys suggested, a lot of you guys suggested that I just need to fully bail and leave the country. So... I'm gonna try to do that as well. So that is what we're gonna try and do in today's episode. We're gonna escape our life because honestly, it has all just got a little bit too stressful. So yeah, between the whole murder and a bunch of mafia family members, uh, getting into prison once, escaping, getting into prison again, escaping again, being on the run, and being wanted for a bunch of crimes, I feel like maybe Finland's not for me. So we're gonna be trying to escape the country in today's episode. I don't think it's gonna be particularly easy, but we shall give it a go and let's see where we end up. So if you guys are still enjoying this chaotic series please don't forget to give this video a big cheeky thumbs up and also as always your comments help me out a lot with bit because a lot of you guys know so many like specific tweaks and ins and outs of this game that i find really really helpful so please 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 feel free to drop any suggestions in the comments below and i will be taking your guys suggestions from the last episode with my whole escape the country story for today's episode so can we emigrate where shall we go where will have me this is the problem sweden's probably gonna be easy because it's kind of close but i feel like i need to go 
quite far away. Maybe Cuba? I'm kind of vibing with Cuba. A request approval. Okay. Cuba has denied your request. But at this point, like, I'm not really one to not do something just because someone says no. Like, you know, just because it's illegal to be a criminal hasn't stopped me so far. And just because Cuba say no, I don't think that should be enough to stop me from trying to get there illegally. So I'm going to try it. You stopped reporting to the Colombo family. You illegally emigrated to Havana, Cuba. <gasps> oh my gosh. Joni hasn't come with us. <gasps> Joni, what the hell? Why would you not come with me? He's divorced me. He has full on divorced me. That little rat. I gave him everything. I gave him everything. I have to give him 200,000 pounds. What about my son? Where is Ira? Oh. <gasps> Ira hasn't come with me. No, I need my son. I need my son. How can I get him to come to me? He needs to come to me. I genuinely thought that they were going to come with me, but they haven't. So that's worrying. Also, I can't visit him because I'm a wanted criminal in Finland. This... This has not gone the way I expected it to go. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, which sim world looks the most like Cuba? It's like a hot city destination. I was thinking of maybe going to Solani initially, but that isn't gonna match this very well. But it is the only place with a beach. I mean, look at the seas. That's very Solani. Let me see what I can do. In the meantime, I was thinking if I switch to Eero, can I switch between them quite easily? <gasps> oh no, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. <gasps> I can't switch back. I can't switch back. <laughs> Guys, I've ruined it. I have legit ruined it. I've switched to Eero. All of my assets have gone to him. Oh no. I'm only nine. I can't exactly travel to Cuba. Guys, this is really flowers. Okay. Here's the plan. So I've used this little Cuba, which is by Jill Chen 77 It's honestly such an awesome build. This is how it looks in my game, which is just so cool. I was gonna go for Solani, but instead I've switched to Desert Spring, the desert kind of world. Okay, so I'm gonna send Emmy, as she's now known as. <laughs> Emmy, I'm gonna send here. Let's face it, her life was kind of done. Like, she was kind of in a bad situation anyway. Oasis Springs, that's what it's called. So we'll send her there. And we'll just say that, like, mum had to go on the run. And poor little nine-year-old Eero doesn't really understand why. Is so young, just knows that mum gave a bunch of money. And the house is in his name as well. And maybe he spends his life trying to get to Cuba. Maybe that's what we'll do. Man, I was so hyped to play in Cuba, though. Ah! Okay, so now we're nine-year-old Eero. I do still want him to, like have good skills and stuff so i'll just work with improving his like smarts and stuff a little bit and i forgot to divorce these two so i'm gonna just go ahead and do that real quick i can't believe he didn't come with me i genuinely just did not see that coming i thought Joni would follow me to the ends of the earth turns out he'd only follow me to the end of the border which is not the kind of like distance i'm looking for i need a bit more long distance than that Eero is miserable at school he's got headache severe cough he's got the stumpy flu which is like the in-game coronavirus okay i feel I feel like he's always gonna like you know pine for his mother so we'll keep talking about her even though she's uh, talking to her even though um she's on the run and i'm gonna see if dad lets us go see her <gasps> okay we visited our mum in havana so we do get to at least visit her however you can't travel if you're infectious my child so let's go ahead and go get you treated at a hospital and then whilst you're all dazed from your medication oh you you can you can't be here you have to be in cuba and stop crying over klaus and lilith you kill them both you literally slayed them tomorrow's the weekend so i'm gonna get him to travel over then and i'm so sad that there's no like option to choose who you live with and I feel like all of this will have definitely taken a year. So let me go forward two sets of six months. And a group of neighborhood children are creating a secret club. They call it Swear Club and only kids who say bad words are allowed in. What will you do? Let me in, damn it. Okay, I joined a secret profanity club for kids in my neighborhood. Okay, I feel like he's definitely taking after his mother. Uh, <laughs> and look, the mother wants to go on a vacation to Black Forest. I'm just gonna say that that's the Cuba, like, Cuba vibes. So there we go. We've aged up a year. Get your little sleepies in and then... Off to Cuba we go. And I don't really know why Joni just lets him go there on his own, but I will take it. So to Oasis Springs. And uh, let's go see mom. A mom who 
<laughs> Eero is called the GOAT. She is the greatest of all time. You're too young to see actually what a wreck and what a nightmare she is, but this is a residential house, but the more I look at it, the more I realize it's just really not residential at all, is it? And this is how mom's living it up now. A very different vibe for her life, honestly. It is the whole vibe here. I feel like there'd probably be a little bit of a new look in Cuba, so I'm gonna change her appearance real quick. So here's mom out here living her best life in Cuba with her little new attire on. All of her tattoos still on display. I don't think you can really get rid of those. I hope your birthday was great. Well, you weren't there for it, mom, because you went to Cuba. I kind of feel like as well, you know, since Mario is kind of a trash person, I feel like she will be a little bit like, uh, well, I wanted you to come out of here. This could have been your life, but you know, your dad ruined it, divorced me, left me. I won't let you come to Cuba. The dad's probably thinking, no, I'm not letting my son run away with a fugitive out of school to another country but you know i feel like she would be like yeah your dad is such a nightmare literally he was so mean wouldn't let you come with me you should totally tell him off when you get home so i feel like the relationship between Evro and his dad is probably gonna get kind of bad especially because we joined a mean gang in our neighborhood so i'm gonna insult my dad a bunch especially because when i ask him for money he literally gives me three euros which is disgraceful whereas my mom gives me nine so clearly she loves me three times as much she's poisoning this relationship and honestly, the kid is just like, wow, Cuba's so cool. I want to be here. Dad's so mean. Although, would you really trust anyone that wears boots in a pool? I know I wouldn't. Oh, well, of course he would do because he also is wearing welly bobs in the pool. Okay, it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Once he's finished hanging out here, I'll send him home. In game, let's age up a couple of years, see what happens. Oh, a beautiful girl has asked us to go to the school dance. We're already 10, but whatever. We'll go see if she wants to come with us. We did. We loved that. That was sweet. And also, so we have our opportunity to have our first kiss. I mean, you're already a little kid. You're 11. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> there is a lot of Mario in this kid. And back in Finland, Joni is feeling very sad about the end of the relationship. But we know he did the right thing. Like, he did the same thing in this situation. But through the eyes of a nine-year-old with a criminal mother who's poisoning him, things will obviously look a little bit different. That was the quickest bath I've ever seen. Like, what? And he's there cooking his dinner for him, but... <laughs> I have to go be mean. I have to go yell at him and insult him. I'm gonna go mock his sadness. Like, why are you sad? You're the one that left mom. And we're gonna yell at him and shout some forbidden words that we learned at our new club at him. Look, how can this little sweet face be so mean? Oh, and you've just weed yourself as well. Wow, Joni is literally that soft that when he got bullied by his son, he wet himself. <laughs> Okay, so their relationship is pretty bad now. I'm sure Joni knows exactly what's going on and probably won't be allowing any trips to Cuba anytime soon. And here is little Cornelia. I'm gonna try and meet someone at school that matches Cornelia Adamski, who is our new little friendo, who we had our first kiss with. Not that crazy, but very beautiful, very smart. Interesting. Okay, let's keep growing up because not much you can do as a kid. And oh my gosh, my classmate, Apo, just painted and showed you a naked rendition of your art teacher. Oh my gosh. Let's laugh at him. Because we are bra. We are a bra. And your classmate, Lida. Ida has asked you out. Reject her because we kind of do be liking Cornelia. And Joni is absolutely furious. He's so angry. He's woken up from his early night to go and fix the trash chute. Honestly, we did not deserve this man. Genuinely, the man was too nice for Maria slash now reformed to Emmy in Cuba. He was too good for her, um, but I still can't quite believe he didn't follow her. Oh my gosh, look at the rock. You got married, Joni? That's nice to hear. I hope the marriage works out for you. Well, obviously, we know it did not. Thanks for rubbing that in there, son. Oh, and look, Ira me. Sala while at school. You are perfect. You look just like Cornelia. You shall do. <gasps> and he wants to invite her over. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay. So this is your little school friend over right here. We are gonna rename her. You're gonna be Cornelia. Wait. Wait a minute. No, it can't be you. It can't be you. you <laughs> You're Salamanin! You are actually my sister. Okay, no, it can't be you. That's Maria's sister. That right there is Maria's sister. Nope, 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 nope. I'll tell you what, what I might do is age up Joni another year so that we become... Oh, and our mum wants to buy us a West Highland Terrier named Monty. What? 
Yes, I do want this dog. How is my mother bringing home this dog when she's in Cuba, though? This is the bit I genuinely do not get. Is she sending me over a, a dog from Cuba? How is she doing that? I don't understand. It makes literally no sense to me, but um, we're gonna sign up for YouTube because everyone else is doing it. But since you are now 14, no, 13 and a half, let's make you 14. Cornelia wants to become best friends. That's awesome. I still need to find a Cornelia, but what I'm thinking is if I age up Eero into a teenager, then I'll be able to find a, school, a friend at high school instead. And that makes more sense. So even though you hate his dad, um, please can you make us a cake? Thanks. That's the thing though. This dad doesn't hate him. He's just hurt by him. <laughs> Such. But Eero is going to age up. Who's now got his brown hair? Sometimes he has black hair. I don't know why, but he's meant to have brown hair. He is going to age his little butt up into a teenager. And I'm just going to roll, see what we get. I don't feel like that makes much sense. Don't feel like he's an art lover. Self-assured, that kind of makes sense. And I'm gonna make him... Oh my gosh. Psychopath tendencies. Oh geez, that's harsh. Um, maybe just chief of mischief. Uh, let's fix you in cuss. I was gonna say he got his mom's eyes, but then the mom did get plastic surgery to change her eyes. So did he? I don't know if he really did. <laughs> so somehow, honestly, teen arrow, he has the jawline of an adult man. <laughs> he really does look like a lot older he might end up also going into a criminal route i just i get that vibe from him maybe he'll have better luck than his mom did i don't know and then we've also got this two-year-old little west highland terrier that our mom gave us so i'm gonna give him like a desk and a pc and then we're gonna try adopt a doggo this episode honestly has taken such a like random turn. I did not expect to be controlling Eero, Eero, whatever his name is. I just genuinely did not expect it to go this way. So I'm just as surprised as I'm sure you guys are. Um, okay. Household. Adopt a dog. Hopefully there's a little Westie on there. If not, we'll just add it in Cass. Okay. No Westies. So Cass it is. Uh, my cousins used to have a little dog like this. So whenever I see these dogs, I'm always like, oh, it's a corky dog. Cause that's what um he's called. And buying a dog is such like a jerk thing to do as the parent that doesn't live in the house anymore. Cause the kid's obviously gonna love it cause you've got a, a dog, but you've not like asked the other parent, is it okay? You're just like, here's a dog. Poor Joni is probably gonna be the one that has to end up taking it out a bunch. And it's probably just not very happy at all with the situation. Yeah, again, Maria being a wreck. Okay, while he tries to teach Monte to roll over, okay, Monty's already got it. I wish my dog's learned as quick as that. Joni wants to take us to look at houses for sale. Now, I feel like Ira's gonna be like, this is the house mom built. And now you wanna go find another house? Is it not enough that you already divorced her? So I feel like he's gonna yell at him for that and act tough. And be like, I want independence. Let me just go to Cuba already. So we will argue with him in BitLife as well. Get lost. Oh, and there it is. The good old Clash of on Fire. You know, we always gotta have one. Well done, Eero. What? What? You have to go shower in the rain. Why do you do this so often, Joni? I don't understand. But go ahead and flirt with your classmate. No. It's just make friends. No, because you have a first kiss. Yeah, flirt with your classmates. Okay, so this is the sim that we flirted with. Obviously quite different looking to Cornelia Adamski. So we'll go ahead and switch her appearance up a little bit to match bit life because it's meant to be bit life. Okay, it's Makoa's child. Okay, so now it's Cornelia Adamski. Quite the change. Bella Goth is like, how is my favorite grandson? I keep forgetting that Joni was, at oh, Joni who's just decided to come in in the middle of my flirt session is actually the goth kid. Hi, son. Do you want to come and see your mom in a little while? I do. I do want to go to little Cuba, but just give me some time, okay? And yeah, technically they had like their first kiss as like sweet, innocent little like 11 year olds where it doesn't really mean much, but I'm going to do it in The Sims as teenagers just because like there, that's better. So there we go. They've gone ahead and had that. He's had his first kiss with schoolmate Cornelia in The Sims, which means we've replicated bit life, which is perfect. So another year. Other people keep asking me out. Honestly, this girl's popular, beautiful, and smart, but no. We've only got eyes for good old Cornelia. And we're in secondary school in BitLife because it works a little bit differently in Finland. Okay, my athleticism ain't great, but let's see what our school offers. But I'm actually gonna join weightlifting just in case the mafia want reparations, you know? I feel like we need to be a little bit ready just in cases. Cause I don't know. I've never done a Mafia storyline in Sims before. I don't really know how it's it could go. So I'm gonna get him working on some weightlifting just in case, you know, just in cases. Okay, am I old enough to try and get to Cuba yet? I'm not. 
keep grinding. Oh my gosh. And this apple guy is wild. Uh, we'll keep laughing. And now this apple kid, he says that we've got to help him with the answers to a maths exam or else he's going to fail. I'll let him cheat. That's fun. And now he wants to skip class and go to a food festival. I'm going to befriend this kid because yeah, he's fully crazy. I feel like he's going to be good crack. Um, it's driving test time. What does that sign even mean? I do not know. Crossroad? Yay! And I'm still not old enough to emigrate. Are you kidding me? And okay, finally, look, she's desperate for us to come over. We finally graduated from secondary school. So I'm going to take some time off and I'm going to see if I can go to Cuba. This is the thing. I'm going to have to wait for it to be an option, aren't I? Until it's an option, I can't go there. I feel like if I go, I'd be leaving Cornelia behind. So I'm going to ask Cornelia out. Okay, I'm dating my best friend. This is good because um, she might come with me if we do manage to get to Cuba. Okay, and they've agreed to start dating. So they're dating in BitLife and in Sims. This is perfect. So I'm going to go... Somebody invites me. No, faithful boyfriend. Faithful boyfriend. I'm still taking some time off, honestly. Oh, Connie is doing engineering at university. She is smart. I don't really need to work here because my mum left me like 200,000 euros. So instead I have to keep trying to, oh my gosh, it's still not an option. Let me get it. Let me go to Cuba. We have, however, been insulted by a rapper on a train. So we're just going to do a little backhand to the face. Because I feel like he doesn't take sass from anyone, honestly. You know his mother. Still can't go to Cuba. Look how old I am. I'm going to be like living my whole life and never get into Cuba. Oh, Cuba's finally there. Okay, can I do this? What? Why can't I get there? Why? Can I try and get there illegally? Oh, he's made it. He's done it. Cornelia has not come with us, but we're in Cuba. I've done it. I can't believe the partner's never come. What is all that about? Wait, what about my dog, Monty? <gasps> I can still take Monty on a walk, so he must be with me. And in the middle of the night, while our father sleeps, we're going to go ahead and emigrate to Cuba illegally with all the money, Dad. I'm sorry, but Mum left it to me. And... <laughs> I've spent a whole episode trying to make this happen, but my son is now here with me in Cuba. So what's this entire episode? Basically just based on me clicking a wrong button, moving to Cuba without my son, and then accidentally becoming my son, and then spending the rest of the time trying to get my son to come to Cuba. Yes, it was. We definitely made a really big mistake. I did not mean to switch to controlling Eero. I thought I would get to keep controlling, like switch back to Maria, who is of course now Emily. I didn't understand that BitLife would not let me do that. You can only switch into your child, so I can't go back and become Emmy ever again, which is really sad because she was a wreck, but I was having a lot of fun controlling her. So yeah, I kind of need to hear from you guys now. What do I do? Do we just keep on living? living as Eero, Eero, I still don't know how to say his name, in our new Cuban mansion? Do we join a Cuban, like, crime syndicate and keep trying to do this criminal life, but as Eero instead of as Maria slash Emmy, new, new identity? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really need your guys' advice. If you want me to continue this, please let me know, but I'm apologizing massively now for accidentally messing this up by just not understanding the mechanics of bit life very well. I definitely Definitely made a huge error, but hey, at least we got to spend a bit of time playing as Eero and making his life a bit of a wreck as well, because that's just kind of what I do. If you did enjoy the shenanigans, please give this video a cheeky thumbs up. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!